Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa and if you're new here, welcome. I do grocery hauls in currently in Italy and I have a smallish haul today. I guess all of my hauls are kind of smallish because um, I just do grocery shopping week to week for a few meals at a time and not the huge big hauls I used to do when we lived in the States. And so I'm going to flip you around. I'll show you what I picked up today. This is from the Eurospin, which is really similar to Aldi in the States, um, kind of a economy grocery store. So let me flip you around, I'll show you what we got. All right, here's the haul. And I do have one thing I picked up from the butcher. Now I normally do the economy grocery haul, Eurospin once a week, and then I do the national regular chain once a week. And then my fresh fruits and veg, I usually get from the vegetable place that's just downstairs from our apartment. And I've started picking up some of my meats at the local butcher. And I did find out today our local butcher actually has all of his own livestock. So everything that he is butchering, everything we're buying from him has been raised right here in the town we live and it's all natural. So um, I may start getting more there as I compare prices and stuff, but we'll see, see what happens. But this is the haul, this was 43 euro. So about 46, $47. And I feel like I got pretty good value for money this time. I'm trying to really stick to my list that I go in with. So let me show you what we picked up. I picked up chicken thighs, which were on my list, and they were on sale. They were $3.49 a kilo, so it's about $1.75 a pound, which seems really expensive for me when I'm used to spending, you know, $0.89 cents a pound or $0.99 cents a pound for chicken thighs, but it's a great price here. So I picked up those. I just picked up a bag of sugar and a bag of flour because we are doing a lot of baking, and I haven't seen these there before. These are the 15 packs of eggs. They were $2.89 a piece. So um, it actually ends up being a really good deal. So I went ahead and picked up two of those because we do have eggs on the menu twice this week. I grabbed some frozen green beans to just have a vegetable in the refrigerator. And I picked up a bag of mixed frozen mix, mixed veg for vegetable soup. This is what I picked up at the butcher. It's just sausage. And uh, that was about four euros for the sausage. They had, we've been getting strawberries from our local fruit and vegetable place and they've been so good, so sweet. So I went ahead and picked up a package at, they were on sale at the grocery store. Our local place didn't have any more. So I went ahead and picked up one of those. And again, I usually get carrots at our local place too, but they were on sale. So I just went ahead and grabbed one. We've been eating a lot of carrots lately. An English cucumber. They do not have those at our local uh, vegetable market. So I grabbed one of those. <laughs> they had this huge thing of butter. One kilo, so two pounds of butter. And it was on sale. So I grabbed one of those. I picked up some cheese for pizza. I grabbed some uh, heavy cream. And I picked up two different kinds of milk. So uh, we actually had milk spoil on us this last time. So I didn't want to get a ton. So I just grabbed two. These beans were not on my list, but they were on sale. So I went ahead and picked up beans, a six pack of beans, uh, ham. This is kind of the closest I have found. It's called prosciutto cotto. Um, this kind, I can roast it in the oven and it seems to be very similar to what we would buy in the States. So I grabbed one of those. We're having actually having ham and mashed potatoes with the green beans one day later this week. I was out of paprika. That's crazy. In the States, I could go uh, years without buying paprika. I would just use it here and there. And for some reason here, I use it in everything. And I, I'm not sure why, but I think I'm starting to make my own spices. I make my own taco seasoning. I'm making my own ranch. And they all call for paprika, so I think that's why I'm going through so much. And I'm just, I don't know. My cooking, it's similar, but it's different. So I'm going through tons of paprika. So we're out of that, so I grabbed that. 
this is the salami that we have fallen in love with. It's um, Hungarian salami, but it is Italian, even though it's called Hungarian salami. And we'll use this for pizza and for just snacks with cheese and pickles. So that is what we picked up this week. And that's all for now. I'll probably add my weekly grocery, other grocery store haul to this video. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.